5 Unsolved Crimes, Real Life Cases That Remain Unsolved to This Day Jack the Ripper, the notorious serial killer who murdered at least five women in London's Whitechapel district in 1888 has never been identified. The sentence describes Jack the Ripper, a notorious serial killer who was responsible for the brutal murder of at least five women in London's Whitechapel district in 1888. The identity of Jack the Ripper remains a mystery to this day, despite numerous investigations and theories. The case has captivated the public's attention for over a century and continues to inspire books, films, and documentaries. Jack the Ripper's modus operandi was particularly gruesome, and he was known for his vicious attacks on vulnerable women, often prostitutes. The murders were characterized by the removal of internal organs, indicating that the killer had a certain level of anatomical knowledge. The police at the time were unable to apprehend the perpetrator, and despite the many clues and leads, the case remained unsolved. Over the years, there have been several suspects who were linked to the crimes, including doctors, artists, and even members of the royal family. However, none of these theories have been conclusively proven, and the case remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in the history of crime. The fascination with Jack the Ripper has led to numerous conspiracy theories and speculation, and the case remains a source of interest for amateur sleuths and true crime enthusiasts. Despite the fact that the crimes took place over 130 years ago, the legend of Jack the Ripper lives on. The case continues to capture the imagination of people around the world, and the mystery surrounding the identity of the killer remains as intriguing as ever. As new technologies and investigative techniques continue to evolve, there is always a chance that the identity of Jack the Ripper may one day be uncovered, but for now, the killer remains one of the most infamous and enigmatic figures in the history of crime. The Black Dahlia Murder, the brutal murder of Elizabeth Short, a 22-year-old aspiring actress, in Los Angeles in 1947 remains unsolved. The sentence describes the Black Dahlia murder, a notorious unsolved case of the brutal murder of Elizabeth Short, an aspiring actress who was only 22 years old at the time of her death. The murder took place in Los Angeles in 1947 and quickly became one of the most sensationalized crimes of the era. Elizabeth Short's mutilated body was found in a vacant lot, and her murder was characterized by the brutality of the attack, which included severing her body in half. The Black Dahlia murder case was extensively covered by the media, and the gruesome details of the crime captured the public's imagination. The investigation into the murder of Elizabeth Short was plagued by false leads and misinformation, and despite the involvement of the LAPD, FBI, and other law enforcement agencies, the killer was never caught. Over the years, numerous theories and suspects have been put forward, but none have ever been proven conclusively. The case remains one of the most notorious unsolved murders in American history, and the mystery surrounding Elizabeth Short's death continues to fascinate and intrigue people around the world. The Black Dahlia murder case has also had a significant impact on popular culture, inspiring numerous books, movies, and television shows. The case has been the subject of countless works of fiction and non-fiction, and the gruesome details of the murder have become part of popular lore. The case has also had a lasting impact on the way that crimes are investigated, with law enforcement agencies learning valuable lessons from the mistakes made during the investigation into Elizabeth Short's death. Despite the passage of time, the Black Dahlia murder case remains unsolved, and the identity of the killer is likely to remain a mystery forever. The brutal murder of Elizabeth Short has become a symbol of the darker side of Los Angeles history and continues to be a source of fascination for true crime enthusiasts and amateur sleuths alike. The Zodiac Killer The Zodiac Killer was a serial killer who operated in Northern California during the late 1960s and early 1970s. He is known to have murdered at least five people, but his identity remains unknown. The sentence describes the Zodiac Killer, a notorious serial killer who operated in Northern California during the late 1960s and early 1970s. The Zodiac Killer is known to have murdered at least five people, but the exact number of his victims is unknown. The killer was known for his cryptic messages and codes sent to newspapers, which added to the mystery surrounding his identity. The Zodiac Killer's modus operandi was distinctive, and he targeted young couples in secluded areas, often shooting them with a gun. He also taunted law enforcement agencies and the media with cryptic messages and letters, which added to the terror and confusion surrounding the case. Despite numerous investigations and the involvement of the FBI, the killer was never caught, and his identity remains a mystery to this day. The Zodiac Killer's case has become one of the most infamous unsolved crimes in American history, and it has been the subject of numerous books, movies, and documentaries. 
The case has also been the subject of intense scrutiny and investigation by amateur sleuths and armchair detectives who have tried to decipher the killer's codes and messages. Over the years, several suspects have been named, but none have been definitively proven to be the Zodiac killer. The killer's identity continues to be the subject of speculation, and the case remains an open investigation. Despite the fact that the crimes took place over 50 years ago, the Zodiac Killer's case continues to captivate the public's imagination, and it remains one of the most perplexing and enduring mysteries in the history of true crime. In recent years, there have been advancements in forensic technology, and some hope that new evidence may come to light that could finally lead to the identification and capture of the Zodiac Killer. However, for now, the killer's identity remains unknown, and the case remains one of the most intriguing unsolved mysteries in American history. The Isdal Woman, the unidentified woman found dead in a remote valley in Norway in 1970, who had been disguised and possibly involved in espionage. The sentence describes the Isdal Woman, an unidentified woman found dead in a remote valley in Norway in 1970. Her body was badly burned, and she had been disguised, leading investigators to believe that she was involved in espionage. The case has remained unsolved for over 50 years, and despite numerous investigations, the identity of the Isdal Woman remains a mystery. The Isdal woman was found by a hiker in the remote Isdalen Valley in Norway. Her body was discovered near a burned-out campfire, and she had suffered severe burns to her face and hands. The woman's belongings had been meticulously erased of any identifying information, and she had even gone so far as to remove the labels from her clothes. The lack of identification and the strange circumstances surrounding the case led investigators to believe that the woman was involved in espionage. Over the years, numerous theories have been put forward regarding the identity of the Isdal woman. Some believe that she may have been a spy or involved in some other type of covert operation. Others believe that she may have been the victim of a targeted assassination. Despite the many theories, the identity of the Isdal woman remains unknown. The Isdal woman case has become one of the most famous unsolved mysteries in Norwegian history. The case has been the subject of numerous books, documentaries, and television shows, and it has captivated the public's imagination for over five decades. Despite the passage of time, the case remains open, and investigators continue to search for clues that may finally solve the mystery of the Isdal woman's identity and the circumstances surrounding her death. Despite the many investigations and theories surrounding the case, the Isdal woman remains one of the most enigmatic and intriguing mysteries in the history of true crime. The case has baffled investigators for over 50 years, and the identity of the Isdal woman remains one of the most enduring mysteries in Norwegian history. The Boy in the Box, the unidentified young boy found murdered in a cardboard box in Philadelphia in 1957. The sentence describes the boy in the box, an unidentified young boy found murdered in a cardboard box in Philadelphia in 1957. The boy's identity remains a mystery, and despite numerous investigations and leads, the case remains unsolved to this day. The tragic story of the boy in the box has captured the hearts of people around the world, and his memory continues to inspire efforts to identify him and bring his killer to justice. The discovery of the boy in the box's body shocked the city of Philadelphia and the nation as a whole. The boy was found in a cardboard box in a wooded area of the city, and he had been badly beaten and left to die. Despite a massive investigation and public outcry, the boy's identity could not be determined, and the killer remained at large. Over the years, numerous leads and tips have been investigated, but the identity of the boy in the box remains a mystery. The case has been the subject of many theories and speculation, and it has captured the attention of amateur sleuths and true crime enthusiasts around the world. Despite the passage of time, the case remains open, and investigators continue to pursue any leads or evidence that may finally solve the mystery of the boy in the box's identity and the circumstances surrounding his murder. The tragic story of the boy in the box has become a symbol of the search for justice and the quest to identify and bring to justice those who commit heinous crimes against the innocent. The case has inspired numerous efforts to identify the boy, including DNA testing and advanced forensic techniques. The boy in the box's memory lives on, and his story has become a powerful reminder of the importance of never giving up in the search for justice for victims of crime. Despite the many years that have passed since the discovery of the boy in the box's body, the case remains one of the most haunting and enduring mysteries in the history of true crime. The boy's memory lives on, and his story continues to inspire efforts to identify him and bring his killer to justice. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe.